What would you like to do today in the Great Smoky Mountains? Let's go climb a mountain! Hey. Oh. You think we're lost? No, we aren't lost. And if we were, I wouldn't tell you anyways because you would cry about it. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> there is a super creepy house if you want to ask for directions because I'm not. I'll check it out. Keep walking in circles. It's, it seems more safe. <laughs> I'm never gonna eat Taco Bell again. <laughs> I'm never gonna do a mask. What was that? <laughs> Thought I heard something. It's starting to get to me out here. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're fine. I know. <laughs> finds this video I'm making. <laughs> We've been in these woods a long time. We're almost out of food. We only brought 13 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, pizza rolls, chicken nuggets, fruit loops, I think a trail mix, and I brought spaghettios because I love them. <laughs> and we ate it all. <laughs> we had a 24 bottle pack of water. We're down to the last one. We're trying to ration it. And to my mom, if you see this, make sure my math students keep learning at the highest level. If you can do that. <laughs> and then <laughs> At Thanksgiving, I was the one who ate the last piece of pumpkin pie. <laughs> pie. Whoa. Are you doing okay? You got a really crazy look in your eye. Yeah. No, I'm good. So tired. I wish I was back home doing math problems. <laughs> I would be multiplying decimals right now. Today we're going to be multiplying decimals. I chose the problem 3.27 times 1.2. Now, quick tip. When multiplying decimals, forget the decimal until the end. Multiply as if the decimal is not even there. Alright, 3.27 times 1.2. 2 times 7, 14. Carry the 1. 2 times 2, 4. Add 1, 5. 2 times 3, 6. Now, go down one level, add a 0. 1 times 7, 7. 1 times 2, 2. 1 times 3, 3. We're going to add these together. 4 plus 0, 4. 5 plus 7, 12. Carry the 1. 2 plus 6, add the 1. 9. 3 plus 0. 3. So we get 3924. Well, you're not done just yet. You can't forget the decimal. You have to go back to the original problem and count the numbers to the right of the decimal. How many do we have? Let's count. 1, 2, 3. So we have three numbers to the right of the decimal in the original problem. Well, knowing this, in our final solution, we have to have three numbers to the right of the decimal in our final solution. So in my final solution, I go to the far right, and I go 1, 2, 3, and the decimal is going to fall in between 3 and 9. I can erase this to show you my work. So our final answer is 3.924. And I did all my multiplication correct. I know that I have three numbers that are to the right of the decimal, because I saw the original had three to the right of the decimal. So I know. 3.924 is correct. Multiplying decimals is pretty easy. Now, Barney B, it's time to wake up. Wake up. Wake, wake up! up! Wait, what? Barney B, come on. The car's right over here. Let's go. What? No way! Come on, let's go. Hey, wait a minute. I'm so happy you found the car. <laughs> this hike has lasted for hours. That was only a 15-minute hike. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it was more like 20 minutes. Don't get scared now. Like and subscribe.